Hello there, Leos. Welcome to your October 2016 tarot reading. I have a lot of messages um, coming through for you guys. So one of the first thing is um, I feel like a lot of you might be hearing about some type of a might be hearing from a friend of yours who is dealing with some type of health issues. Okay, I don't feel that it's you. I, I feel like it's somebody close to you or somebody that you know you consider a friend. Okay, what I'm also feeling is for those of you who are a little bit younger who are a little bit younger watching this and I would say like around 25 and under and you're watching this and you're a Leo sign Sun Moon or Rising I feel that there might be some concerns that you're going through regarding like authority figure okay those of you who are younger like um, still in high school and things like that I feel troubles with institutions like um, with school or dealing with authority figures in a school setting for others, it might be in a work setting where um, you're trying to learn something and I feel like the, the workplace might be very rigid. There's something about, you know, wanting to try your best to conform to an institution, whether it's work or school, and um, facing some challenges in that manner. For others of you who are older, and especially with children, you might be um, dealing with it as, um, you know, through the kids dealing with a situation where you're concerned about your child's uh, progress in school. You talk to the teachers, you talk to the administrators, and you're trying to straighten out either their academic problems or their behavioral problems in a school setting. So I do feel that coming through. And then for others of you, I feel almost like um, there's a lot of things that are happening in your environment. And you're trying to push projects forward, but you're facing a lot of red tapes all around you okay so I do send some some issues when it comes to authority figures doing things by the book and it's not a great month for you to branch out and you know try to cut corners or try to implement and, and push through new or innovative agendas right now I, I don't feel that that's um a good thing to do for this month so try to really you know read over manuals and um, do things by the book okay that's gonna serve you well and um, I just feel like the blockages are coming through from institutional settings via uh, procedures via you know like um, doing things a specific way so I'm gonna use this one and put the rest in um, let me see if there's anything else here. Um, I feel like, you know, issues with mothers as well coming through. So I, I feel like parenting, uh, dealing with your own mother for those who are younger as well. Um, in terms of your, your dating life and your, uh, romance sector, what I do sense is, um, I'm almost feeling like, the there are several options coming through but I feel almost like um, you're not completely satisfied with all these options and you might be put in a position where um, I feel you're limited you feel like you're limited in terms of options dating options and, and prospects and things like that okay and um, then for others I feel like there are uh, there's somebody that you you like and you they could be like, you know, you're, you're talking to them um, And you're not dating each other exclusively. So it's like at the very beginning stages Okay, and I feel like one of the reasons why you might not get consistent uh, Communication from them is because they're going through a very pivotal point in their lives where they're trying to sort some things out It could be financial issues or it could just be, you know, like uh, work and just just life problems, and they might be a little bit. They they seem kind of out of reach and a little bit withdrawn. Um, take a break from that situation. Don't uh, jump to conclusions. Don't sever ties just yet, because I feel like you don't know the whole story. And you know, it, it seems to me like it's a new situation. They might tell you what they're going through, but I feel like you might underestimate the extent of the situation or they might not tell you the whole situation okay so I'm getting some of you might be dealing with somebody might start dating someone who has court issues such as uh, child custody such as DUIs 
and they, they might not reveal to you, you know, the whole extent of the story. So that's what I'm sensing. And um, just don't jump to conclusions. Don't make up your mind just yet. Let the situation unfold naturally and, um, and then decide what you want to do. Because I feel like a lot of you really like this person and you're getting exasperated that they're not returning your call or they're not communicating in a way as fast as you'd like and what I would urge you to think about is that you know a lot of the times people go through their own things and they don't try they they don't want to you know tell their business to everybody but they also they want to suffer in silence they want to like figure things out in their own head first before they can you know verbalize it to another person so I feel like they're in the process of sifting through some things in their own lives and um they might not want to, you know, talk about it until they're ready. So don't push for it. But at the same time, um, if like you, you feel somebody withdrawing, I feel like a lot of you might just uh, get upset and you might just say like, oh, let, let's just, um, that person's a jerk or whatever. And let me just, you know, remove myself from the situation altogether. And you might like burn your bridges too prematurely. So just keep that in mind, okay? Um... I feel like, yeah, so like some of you might just be like um, dealing with that situation and you move away from it too soon. You move away from it too soon and you, you know, you try to go out and start dating again. And then the options that are available to you in terms of dating is not really panning out. And then you're forcing yourself to go with the new person because you feel like the old person, even though that never got off the ground. And even though you like them a lot, you feel like they're neglecting you. Well, they're not doing it on purpose. I feel like they're going through their own things right now okay so that's a precaution for some of you who are going through this situation so let me just go through the spread here so one of the first things that is coming out here is the seven of pentacles and the four of swords so once again the seven of pentacles is a situation where you have invested a lot of hard work into a to nurture a situation to get something started and to you know uh, plant some seeds you have basically pretty much you know planted the seeds and you're waiting for the harvest you're waiting for things to come to fruition now this situation alone requires a lot of work the pentacle suit is the the suit of practicality it's like getting your hands dirty getting down to the nitty-gritty details and you know not shying from the hard work the labor that is required so you feel like you have laid the foundation and you feel like you've done everything that you can and now you're waiting for it to come fo forward you're waiting for for the the harvest you're waiting to reap the benefits of this and the rewards of this for a lot of you this is purely on a work situation you you know um, you have like a nine to five job and um, you worked a lot of overtime in order to make yourself stand out and especially in order to um, show other people that you're dedicated you want to grow with the company and you're waiting on a promotion I feel a lot of you are waiting on promotion a lot of you are waiting for like um, you have sent your resumes out there and you're waiting for feedback okay you're waiting for some very very lucrative assignment and then for others of you, this is the relationship that I'm talking about. You put a lot of work in, and this is a period of waiting, praying, waiting for a specific outcome. It's a very, very good combination. It's a very good card. And for those of you who have invested a lot in another person, I feel like there's some type of dead silence coming through from the other side where the other person might seem out of reach, out of touch. You feel a little bit neglected and... I can assure you they're going through their own things. I feel like they're going through some major, major upheavals in their lives. It might be like a spiritual crisis that they're dealing with. So they're trying to sort things out on their own. And um, what I'm also feeling is that for a lot of the, um, the people that you're dealing with, they might have health issues related to family members as well. Okay, so all of these things are coming through in that first message that I mentioned earlier and then for others it could purely just be in a work environment where you're just like you know I've been at this job for a really long time I deserve a raise and you might have like put your feelers out there to see what's available to you okay so very very good combination it just indicates to me a lot of um, waiting for a situation so that you you get your just due you get whatever you feel like you deserve which is good 
what's coming through next and this is a very um strong you know like a, a logical progression to this story we have here the ace of pentacles this is big money that is coming through either via a new job or via a job a, a pay increase a promotion a salary increase okay this is a very very positive thing that is coming through for you that is gonna um drastically change your life in some way. I like the way that it's depicted in the traditional Rider Waite deck because um, at the bottom you see, you have the pentacles here, really, really big pentacles, a new opportunity on the financial front, on the material front. But then in the other deck, there's like a, a little door, a, a little pathway leading to a door. So it's going to change your life in a very drastic way. It's going to increase your social standing, increase your popularity, increase your public or professional image. It's a very good opportunity that's going to be really good for you. And what it's linked up with here is the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles indicates a situation where there is like a spiritual lack, an emotional lack, and kind of like a feeling of um, estrangement between people, okay? So first of all, a lot of you have worked and you you are kind of struggling. Even though you're working and you're, I feel like you're working really, really hard in order to sustain, in order to take care of all the finances that are, you know, if little expenditures here and there that are coming through. And I feel there's a lot of uh, expenditures in your environment. I, I'm seeing a lot of children. I'm seeing like, um, you know, you're a very, very loving, generous sign. And I, I've, I've actually seen a lot of Leo people. They open their doors up, their homes up to uh, friends and um, like vagrant family members. If someone needs a place to stay, their um, times have been hard on them and they need a place to stay, usually you welcome them, friends and family, with open arms. And you don't expect them to pay rent. You, you, you take them in and then you, you know you try to get them uh, or give them the, a space to stay in you provide food and lodging so that they can get themselves off their feet and i feel like that's what's happening because i feel like a lot of expenditures are coming through i don't feel that you're being taken advantage of but i feel expenditures that sh um that don't belong to your family so they're not co the expenditures are not coming from the kids not coming from the husband or the wife it's more like people that you take in and you're feeding them or you're taking care of them in some way it could even be stray dogs it could even be you know just like stray people stray animals that need a place to stay until they get back on their feet so i feel like that's coming through and um, as a result of it i feel like you know you, you work really hard and you're making that money but a lot of money is also leaving your hands, okay? So I feel like a lot of you might have been struggling um, pretty badly for the past seven months on the financial front. And I feel like this new opportunity is going to open some major, major doors for you. It's going to restore your faith in humanity. It's going to restore your faith in life, okay? So I'm going to try to publish this uh, video like the beginning of October so that if you're in this situation, one of the things they want you to be careful about here is uh, prayer, returning to the simple act of praying. And, you know, prayers are actually usually linked with a religious institution or a religious persuasion. But a simple prayer to the universe or whatever God or whatever deity that you believe in, just that act of faith alone, that we are not alone, that there is a higher power or that there is a, such a thing as something that is meant for us. It's basically like, you know, the rule of attraction. If you are waiting for this job that you feel is going to be a major, major life changer for you, you want to pray for it, okay? And um, don't just pray like, please give me this job. You want to uh, kind of outline why you want this job and how it's going to benefit you as a person, how it's going to help you grow. A lot of the times, that's going to allow you to set good intentions to the universe and, you know, attract those things in for you. So this is a, a very good month for you to get down to this uh, spiritual side of yourself so that you can start attracting and manifesting good things to come your way, okay? So I definitely feel a job offer, a promotion or something, that's going to get you really far in life on the financial front. If you've been dealing with, you know, massive um, 
worries, I do feel things are going to be alleviated uh, this month, okay? Uh, possibly, I feel like, let me see here, possibly by the 5th of the month, I'm seeing the 5th, 18th, 20th or, or so. So that's coming through for this month. The next two cards deal with a uh, family situation. So we do have the Ten of Pentacles and the world. Um, one of the first thing that I am getting here is a lot of you might feel constrained by family obligations, okay? Um, I'm getting that a lot of you might be stuck doing a family business. Like it, you inherited a family business, you're kind of stuck doing that. And um, I feel like it's preventing you from really um, branching out and you know, pursuing new jobs that you know will be a little bit more financially stable or more financially lucrative for yourself. And then for others, there might be situations where, like I mentioned, somebody, you know, hearing somebody with health issues, having to stay home, take care of the parents, and you feel like your life is, is like put on hold. So um, I do sense a little bit of like... Um, you know, of course, we all love family and we when we're there to take care of them, but you know, it can be a burden. And I do sense a little bit of resentment coming through from your end. So it's these are perfectly, you know, normal human reactions and these are perfectly uh, common human uh, circumstances. So the one thing that you want to ask yourself here when if you're dealing with this, where you feel like uh, the family unit it's a little bit restrictive when it comes to like you having to take care of elderly parents or take care of other people or just you know you, you have a burden here placed on by family members um, and you want to break free and um, this is where I feel like that that wanting to break free that Aquarian type of energy you want to break out of a situation want to break out of a rut want to uh, find shortcuts to do something or not following the proper procedures and protocol I feel like it's gonna do a little bit more damage than good and in the long run you're gonna start to see it okay so this is the month where you might want to break out a little bit but I feel like the it's it's restrictive circumstances won't let you break out not so much for this month okay so what I'm also sensing is for some of you um, there might be generational wealth coming through so you know inheriting a business for example um, I know that you're you know one of the most loyal signs you're you're very fierce and you're and when you're loyal to somebody you're very you will defend them you know you would take a bullet for them you would defend them you would like um, always you're very courageous when it comes to you know sticking up for somebody especially like for the underdog for people who are less fortunate and I feel like um, be careful about the tendency to do this you need to take care of yourself first you need to take care of your immediate family like you know your spouse your children your parents first and then reserve the rest of the energy for yourself because I feel like you're expanding yourself and stretching yourself too thin and um, that's kind of like at the expense of, well, th that doesn't serve any good in the long run. So it's kind of like focus your energy a little bit more, do something and do it really, really well, rather than stretching yourself far and wide and not accomplishing all of these things um, as well as you can if you had, you know, contracted your energy and focus on singular projects, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Um, the last thing I'm feeling here is uh, news about elderly parents. So that that's, you know, regarding health issues. I don't feel it's bad, but it's um, it's a situation where they might call upon you. You might, you might be worried for them. So even if you're like living far away, you might hear news of this and you might contemplate travel, okay? And you have a lot of things on your plate, I feel already, a lot of obligations and responsibilities, but you want to be there for your family. And the, the thing here is I do sense a little bit of guilt for those who are living far away and you're hearing news about parents and you're like, you have so much stuff on your mind, but you're just like, I have to go see them because it's I'm, I'm obligated. 
um, really think about, you know, what good would it serve for you being there aside from just the emotional support. We all love the emotional support. But if you yourself can't, um, if like you're so inundated with your own things in your own life and you can't really make it, I feel like you, you have to let go of that guilt, okay? Because you need to take care of things in a more systematic manner. All right, Leos? I do feel a lot of um, wealth generation and, you know, um, overcoming obstacles when it comes to financial situations. So, the oh, you've got some good cards. So, the last cluster here is the Ace of Cups as well as the Emperor. The Ace of Cups is brand new beginnings, brand new uh, relationships. And usually when I see this... And this is something I started seeing recently. This is like brand new crushes, okay? Um, feeling that, that you know, the butterflies in your stomach when you interact with another person. Feeling as if, you know what, this is a, a person that I really admire, that I really respect. This is not just, you know, shallow, um, vain type of love where you're just like, oh, he or she is really good looking. This is more like on a very, very deep, uh, spiritual level you feel very much in sync with another person and um, I feel like a lot of you are going to be feeling this way um, in your life right now like this is a kind of like um, that that job situation bringing about a lot of blessings in your life and your your sense of pride in yourself your sense of like faith being restored and faith in people, faith in the universe being restored, and a lot of abundance are going your uh, are going to flow in for you. So I do feel this outpouring of love from the universe, but also this outpouring of love coming from you. And then for others, this could be a brand new relationship. Okay, a lot of you are possibly um, feeling as if you are crushing on or are in love with somebody who is an authority figure in your environment, possibly older than you, okay, possibly older than you. That's what I'm sensing. Um, a lot of you are putting another person on a pedestal. Whether or not they belong there, I'm going to do that in the love reading in a little bit, but I feel like you're putting somebody on a pedestal. You're seeing the very, very best in them, and, you know, they're, they're, they're making you really, really happy. And I feel like a lot of you are getting new people added into your household. So I, I feel a lot of grandparents or parents vibe. So this can be a conception of a child, a grandchild, uh, adoptions even, and doing something where I feel like there's a new bundle of love in a re, uh, family setting as well, okay? So I, I do see a lot of like people becoming grandparents. Um, so I don't know what demographic, what age group watches my videos. But I feel like um, something is being added to the home environment. It, it indicates to me some type of generational type of love here associated with the emperor, okay? Um, what I'm also sensing is that um, a lot of you are being made an offer from like a, a superior. So I feel like somebody who you really, really respect is showing their respect and their mutual admiration for you. So that can be in a work environment where, you know, someone you really, really care about. They're kind of like passing the baton to you. So they might be thinking about retiring. They might be, they might want to, um, you know, get an early retirement. And then somebody asks them, well, who do you think is a good fit to take over for you? That person might say, you know, you, the Leo, whoever is watching this. You might be pass the baton um from like a, a person that you re hold in really high regard. So I definitely feel a lot of good things are happening for you guys for this month. And the energy seems to me to be like very busy, okay? In terms of the um, advice here, let's talk about this. We have the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords usually indicates a situation where there is like some lie, some deception, some type of withholding information or lying by omission, okay? And this is kind of like the only card that contradicts everything else. But I feel it's almost as if for a lot of you, I mentioned before, don't cut corners. Somebody is holding you in very, very high regard and they put you on a pedestal. And especially if it's somebody that you also really, really respect, okay? And if they are chirping so highly about you, 
this is the last month in which you want to be caught like doing something you're not supposed to so be very very careful when it comes to like um forging um i i feel like forging documents i feel like you might have a time crunch and you're just like uh i'll just uh, estimate well do things by the book okay and then cutting corners not following proper protocol and procedures i do sense that so just be very very careful don't be too impatient everything has a time and a place so this is not a good month to um this is not a good month to like um, do anything where you might have to be put in a position where you cut corners because I feel like it's going to come out in the wash, okay? So just be careful about that. What I'm also feeling here, we do have the strength card. And the strength card, this is a card that indicates like, um, you know, patience, okay? It, it's, it's almost like the temperance card in a way where it's kind of like telling you you have to hold yourself back a little bit. Don't jump the gun. You might not have all the information yet. I feel like some of you might not have all the information. You see a situation, for example, and you're just like, it's it's like this. But I feel like there are pieces of the information that might be missing, so you don't know the whole story. So going back to the initial message, don't jump to conclusion. Be a little bit patient. Things will come out in the wash. You will get the full story very, very shortly. So don't jump the gun, okay? And then after that we do have you know truths being revealed here with the ace of swords this is also a, a very very good card about victory winning something and um i feel it's sort of like it, it's sort of like um a kind of like a, a cutting away the fog where you have the information that you need where you have access to things okay and then you're going to be able to not be kept in the dark anymore this is a very good um, card overall when it pertains to like um, not so much relationship. I usually see that, you know, that victory card in relationship as the chariot, as in, you know, things moving forward. Two people are working at, um, with a common goal in mind. This is more like finance related where, you know, whether or not you're going to pass an exam, whether or not you're going to pass a whether or not you're going to land a job, whether or not you're going to get a promotion, these are, I feel like, more on the tangible, on the material front. So we have some really, really good cards here. So it's saying for you, don't jump the gun, don't be patient. Um, you might not know the whole story, okay? So don't assume anything just yet. And I feel like once the time is right, once the fog starts to lift, you're going to stumble upon something very, very profound that's going to help you on the financial front. So I feel like if you are, if you have inherited a business and you're thinking about selling it, if you're thinking about like, um, if you've hit some obstacles when it comes to like, you know, adoptions even, it's telling you to be patient and wait for it, okay? The information will be there and you will be victorious in this, okay? So very good um, card so far, um, Leo's. Let me go into your love reading, see what's going on for you guys. Okay, so Leo's love, relationship, and romance. This is for the month of October 2016. So what is in store for Leo's for love, relationship, and romance? October 2016. Too many cards. Okay, this one. Okay, well, I did mention that, you know, in love, usually a victory. Um, I usually read the chariot card and the chariot card came out. So that's nice.
Okay, so I'm seeing like two separate stories. Let me try to make sense of this. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the center of the spread. That might be easiest. Okay, so the first thing out here, we have the sun and we have the nine of coins. The sun indicates a very, very uh, happy, happy moment, okay? This is kind of like success, bliss, uh, basking in the light of the sun, feeling quite attractive, feeling the need to like want to go out, being well received on the social front, and uh, feeling this a lot of support and love and, you know, mutual, um, I guess like mutual affection from a significant person if you're dealing with them, okay? And then for others, I feel like the sun indicates an ego situation, like a ego conflict and things like that. Okay, it's sort of like, you know, I gave you my love and um, you didn't reciprocate or you took too long. So I'm going to sail on and I'm going to give my love to somebody else. So it's like you, you have somebody in your past, I feel, because the past, we have the chariot. And the chariot, like I said, it's uh, two people working in harmony with one another in order to move a situation forward, okay? So I definitely feel like in the past, you have met somebody that you you might have your differences with they you might not like have you know be like 100% compatible but you had a common goal you had a common purpose and uh, no one was resting on their laurels everyone was um, both sides were working together to move a situation forward it's linked up with the ten of cups and the ten of cups usually indicate some type of a family situation okay so this is kind of like that apex of the the human emotional experience having the family having the love and support from the wife from the husband from the spouse from the children so having everything under your belt and, and I, I feel like a very big family for some of you um, and this is mainly the family that you create for yourself, okay? Not like the family you grew up in, but the fa like like via marriage. So I definitely feel a lot of you are in a space where you're having a lot of financial success. You might be self-employed here with the Nine of um, Pentacles. You might be earning a lot and you might be investing. You might be earning a lot and you're putting your savings in investment. And I feel like things are going really, really well. And I feel for a lot of you who are in stable relationships right now, um, it, it like the energy is really, really good for you, okay? So I feel that those of you who are married in stable relationships, um, one of the main things you're going to see is that your, your partner that you have is your soulmate. You're going to start to see that. If you have questioned that, you're going to see evidence of this coming through for you because I feel like you have struggled through many, many lives of life's uh, hurdles and challenges and obstacles, and you still are intact, okay? Like the couple, um, the relationship is still intact. And you're going to get this gentle reminder that, you know, you're with the right person. So don't look around. You're with the right person. So I feel like, especially for those who are married, who are coupled, and especially if you have children with someone, even if you're not married, you have children with a person and you're still with that person, you're going to see the relationship being taken to the next level and you're also going to see that um, you're going to see that um, you know uh, that that sense of like solidarity um, coming in between you, you and your your partner you're going to help each other through some major major hurdles okay so that's what I'm feeling that's like the main message that I'm sensing for that group of you who are watching this um, there's another group out here, and I feel like the energy is very different, okay? Um, I feel like some of you, you know, you, you could be going through this, and you might have a temptation, an offer from somebody else outside of the relationship. And I feel like, I feel like you might be traveling a lot, your husband might be traveling a lot, um, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other, or your spouse might be traveling a lot. 
And um, there's a lot of like, like I mentioned ego games, you know, where somebody is all like, well, I gave a lot of my time to this person, but they're traveling now and they're not really reciprocating. They're, they're kind of like MIA. And so there's this other person that's serving as like a distraction or a huge, huge temptation. So I feel like some of you might be tempted to step out of the relationship. Okay, so that's what I'm, I'm sensing here for some of you. Um, there is an offer here of something that has the potential to grow. It's a very sincere offer for friendship. I feel like it might be disguised as friendship, but it's purely sexual. Okay, the devil indicates like um, strings attached in this deck at least. Okay, so it's kind of like an offer that's on the table. There are strings attached. So a lot of you might be in a situation where you are coveting somebody with a relationship and uh, the, that person, they're, they're not going to leave their marriage. They're offering you, offering you, they're soliciting you for an offer or, you know, you might be tempted to step out of your relationship. So I do feel that element of materialism, like, you know, life's good, I'm making all this money and then there's this, my partner's traveling all the time or I'm traveling all the time. I feel like it might be your partner and you feel a little bit neglected and there's a temptation that is coming through and it's basically very very strong physical attraction and uh, let me just say this if you are single and you're being solicited by that person in that relationship they're they're the devil that means you know they they know how to spin things so that the story portrays them a certain way so i feel like don't get sucked into it okay just don't do it it's not going to be good for you and if you're kind of like, if you're the single one and then they're attached, I feel like they're attached. They want like a no strings attached type of a, a relationship. So they, I'm, I'm sorry, they have strings attached when it comes to, you know, they, they pose it as a friendship, but they want more. But at the same time, they're not going to leave their spouse. They're not going to leave their significant other. So you're walking into, you know, tenuous territory here for this month especially for those of you who are single, um, thinking about a married person, okay? And then others of you, um, I feel like you might be tempted to, you, you might be solicited by someone who's single. So I hope that makes sense, okay? Um, the foundation here deals with the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups, especially for those who are single or, you know, whoever is looking, I feel like you have some choices that are coming through, you had a very, very fulfilling relationship in the past uh, with the Ten of Cups here, which means that, you know, you, you, you had it all. You had a really good relationship partner that was there for you through thick and thin. Somehow the relationship itself didn't work out because of financial situations, because of uh, ego conflicts with the Sun card. And as a result, I feel like you're starting the date again, but you feel that the options that you have on the table are not good enough are not exactly what you want, okay? And um, you have a person here that is offering you something new, which is great here with the Page of Cups. It's great. It might be um, a water sign. You might have dealt with a water sign in the past, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's a new person that's coming through, and um, I feel like it has a lot of potential. So I see you singles shifting from this situation where you're just like, I don't like the choices, but you're going to go with something. And then as a result of going with something, you will be able to leave, you know, this fantasy of this past relationship behind. Okay. So I'm feeling, especially for those who are single, you have some th good things coming through just, uh, but I feel like you're fixated on somebody who's got cords of attachment with another person via marriage. And you're, you're dwelling on this person and you're not able to let them go. So if that sounds familiar, just be very careful about that, okay? Because I, I feel like it's best to be a Leo coupled person for this month. And I, I do sense that, um, like that's the outcome here. So in terms of the crowning energy, and the crowning energy is something that you're thinking about. We have the Hierophant, which basically means, you know, this is a stable, stable love relationship, okay? So if you're single and messing with an, a person that is married, it basically means stable relationship. They're not going to break up. So if they're feeding you, you know, oh, I'm going to divorce so-and-so, 
It's not going to happen. So this is something here that you want to be very, very aware of, okay? And um, I do see that the other per there's some deception coming through from the other person. Manipulation, deception, strings attached. And um, they're not going anywhere. They're not leaving their relationship, okay? And then for others of you who have been dating for quite some time, I feel like, you know, you're with somebody that you want to, to go the whole nine yards with. You want the marriage. You want the house. You want, like, um, I feel like you both have been tested tremendously within the within the past seven months you've been you jumped over some major hurdles together and you want to take the relationship to the next level so i feel like the only regret with that is you know saying goodbye to your singlehood right if you're wanting to take the relationship to the next level and then we do have as well the nine of swords and the nine of swords linking up with the hierophant is basically worrying that the other person is not going to leave their relationship and you would be right I feel like you want to be just careful, especially those who are single, liking or involved with somebody who's married, okay? Um, the energy, there's there are just so many blockages. And I definitely feel like you're dealing, oh, I, I feel like you're dealing with somebody in your work environment that you are romantically involved with. And this person is playing you like a, a you know, like has you wrapped around their fingers. So... And I feel like they're married. So that would explain the Emperor and the Ace of Cups. That would explain it. Um, like a person in a position of authority. If they're married, it's not going to work. And I feel like a lot of them are married. They're looking... And I feel like... Okay, so if you look at this card, right? This bunny has this cup. And he or she is sending out a lot of letters to a lot of people. So I feel like you're you're dealing with like somebody who's a little bit devious, okay, here with the devil. So that's my advice, especially if you're just um don't mix work with pleasure. You know, don't mix mix business with pleasure. Do things by the book for this month, okay? There's some temptation in your love life, in your work environment. Everything is like um linked up together and it can get very messy, so be careful with that, especially those who are single, all right? So the spread looks very, very good. There are snippets of things, mainly for people who are involved in relationships with, uh, who are single but involved with someone who's in another relationship. So that's the only thing I'm sensing. And um, I feel like for some of you, you were with somebody that you really, really cared about. You might have broken up and you might find out that they're moving on and they're getting married or they're getting engaged or something like that. And um, I do sense that, you know, that's in that situation just um you might get an invitation that's what i'm feeling okay but not a bad spread at all okay so um if you like a private reading leos uh visit my website where you can book an appointment i do wish you all the best the month looks really good okay a lot of successful things coming through on the professional front so with your career going so well please do not mix business business with pleasure it's never ever a good move okay especially because your career is going so well. So take care of yourself. Um, I have also added a donation link. If you use to choose to use it, I would really appreciate it. So everything is in the description box of my website as well, where you can book an appointment, all right? I will talk to you soon in the mid-month reading. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.